All right, time for another video. It's been a while, you know? All right, here's what's going on. That is a three-door Samsung. Two levels of freezer down here in the bottom and double Dutch door, water maker, ice maker, digital. All right, so let me tell you what's going on. It was sitting right over here where the freezer is, uh, right there. Okay, and the freezer was sitting over there in that cavity over there, all right? And the reason for all the charred marks on there is because the freezer was overheating. And so you live and learn, clean your filters. All right, so um, let me tell you what's going on. The reason this is not in its place where it's supposed to be is because there's a problem. Over here, this drawer cabinet had to be reduced on both sides, that side and that side over there. What I did pay attention to was reinstalling this cosmetic piece and this cosmetic piece. Where is it? Right there. That cosmetic piece. Before I go any further, I just want to point out that there was some adjustments that needed to be made up here. Right there. Because the refrigerator is wider than the distance between my wall over there and the cabinet. So I had to remove this piece right here. Made a belly cut right there with my Handy dandy black and decker. No, it's not an endorsement. Don't even try it. And right along here, I made a cut up to this point with my sawzall and a cut up to this point with my uh, black and decker. But before I did all that, I made one single hole, quarter inch, then one to the left of it, then one to the bottom of it. And then I got to a point to where I didn't want it to fall, so I duct taped it in place and then followed that cut out there. And so in case you're wondering what it looks like on the inside, that's what it looks like on the inside. The thinnest, cheesiest sh shit, I'm going to say shit, garbage, uh, that you can think of. They didn't have anything on here. Uh... To support your plates and spices and all that kind of stuff and glasses and so therefore we got to the point to where everything was um, Lord have mercy put together as cheesily as possible I mean it's a Lexington home but I, and I'm not endorsing Lexington don't let me go there either so anyway, the task now is to preserve this side and to be white on the inside. So what we're going to do is we're going to add shims to the inside of the cabinet there and add a shim to the bottom to support this, to support this right here, and also to finish it out to where it's supposed to look. Um, and so when I'm done with that, we'll pick up the video and uh, you'll see this in part two. All right. Y'all stay on board with me. Thanks for tuning in. And I hope I've in earned your subscription. Thank you to the 255 subscribers that we got now. I appreciate everything that you do. I, and I'm glad that you watch my videos. I appreciate it very much. All right. We'll be back in just a minute with part two.